everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan, and today's video is another episode of our Wix Studio Basics series, the series where I show you the basics of building in Wix Studio. For today's video, we're gonna primarily be focusing on stacks. What are they and how to use them? Now, I will say if you've missed any of the other videos for this series, in the description, you'll find a link to a playlist with all of the other videos, and I highly suggest you check those out first. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So here I am inside of Wix Studio, and in order to kind of show you stacks and why they are important, let me first start by adding like this little title here, and maybe we add like a paragraph, and we want to kind of like put them together like this. But maybe for this text, we just want it to be a fixed sizing, and for some reason we accidentally set our margins to a pixels or something like that. And now when we go ahead and test the responsiveness of our page, you can see how not only if the screen gets larger, how the title overlays the paragraph and we can't read it. And also on smaller screens, how our text and paragraph are now misaligned when that's not how we intended it with the initial design, right? So by grabbing both of these, which I'm using the shift key on the keyboard and clicking both, we now have this option to stack them together. And by doing that, no matter what size of screen I'm on, not only are they continue to be aligned together, but they're not overlapping one another either. So in a way they're grouping each other together and having that space in between the item to be consistent. Now, if I go ahead and select the stack now, under the layout, on the right hand side in the inspector panel which by the way if you don't see the inspector panel you can just open it up using this little arrow right here and coming down to layout now under layout for this stack we have several different options one we can switch it from a vertical to a horizontal stack which is really useful in a second i will show you a very useful use case for horizontal this is not it so we're gonna switch it back to vertical we also have item spacing now let's say we have a bunch of items here like maybe we want another button or something like that we send it to the left and we added it to the stack right well having everything kind of pushed up together doesn't always look the best so under item spacing right here we can set this to maybe like 16 pixels and now if i kind of hover over the spacing here you can see that both say 16. The cool thing is, is we can customize this if we want. So if we want, maybe we want a little bit more in between the paragraph and the button. You can see that this one's set to 24, but it didn't affect the spacing here at the top one. And now if we come over here to item spacing, you can say it now says mix, okay? Another thing that I kind of want to mention is that with item spacing, underneath item spacing is align items. So as of right now, you can see our title, our paragraph, and our text are all aligned to the left side of our stack here. But if I want to, I could press align items to the center. And you can see not only did our paragraph element move from the left hand side to the middle, but the actual element itself under the design settings also switched from left align to center. So that's a really cool feature that when you grab a stack and you align items to the center, it also does that for the text elements as well. And as you can probably imagine, you can also align to the right. You could also justify if you wanted to, but I don't typically like doing those. Um, I typically just do left align and center, but it's nice to have those option. I'm sure if you're making a website in Hebrew or another right uh, sign language, this is a really useful feature, but Speaking English, it's mostly left aligned for us and center. Um, but it's a really nice feature to have. Now, another thing that I want to mention here is with the stacks, you also have design options. So for example, if we wanted to add a background color to the stack, we could. And then you have like a glass effect if you wanted to, uh, you, you can add a border, corner radius, radiuses. So if you want to 
around the corners of the stack, you can do that. You can add a shadow if you want. So it's really cool that you have these design settings. But if we take a look at it, you can see the button is pressed right up against the edge. So is the text element. If the title was really long, it would be pushed up right against it. So that doesn't really look the best. So if we come back down to layout, we also have padding. So for example, if we set this to 64 pixels and 64 pixels, we should, should see something like this. Now, the reason that the paragraph text is looking like that is because earlier when I was demonstrating the stacks, I set this to fixed. But if I set this to scale proportionately and set the width to 100%, you can kind of see how now that padding is making it look a lot nicer here. But I also kind of wanted to explain to you when you might want to use like the vertical versus horizontal stack. So if I scroll down to this other section that I kind of drafted up, we can take a look at it here. So for example, what if we wanted to design a stack that looked like this, right? So if I wanted to, I can grab all of these elements here and wait, it doesn't say stack, it says place in container. So unfortunately, we can't stack these together because Wix Studio doesn't know if we want to stack vertically or horizontally because we have some elements that are horizontal and some elements that are vertical. So if I go ahead and grab these and stack these together, but then I try to grab, you know, this one and try to add it next to it, then it just adds everything vertically. So we don't want to do that. So I'm going to undo it and unstack everything. And what I want to do is grab these buttons and I want to stack these together In doing so, I can then change the item spacing to 12 pixels and you can see that the stack layout is set to horizontal. I can even change the direction if I wanted to flip the order of these items, which is pretty nice. But the nice thing is, is now that this is a stack, this is technically its own single element. So now if I go ahead and grab the other elements, I can now stack everything together. So just to kind of reiterate, you can stack stacks into other stacks right so you can basically turn this stack into another stack with other elements so basically we have a vertical stack and then inside of this vertical stack we then have another stack that is horizontal that is probably one of the best use cases for having the horizontal stack it's for when you have when i have like two buttons or something side by side but all in all, that's everything that you really need to know about stacks. It's a very, very useful tool and, and understanding them and putting them into practice on your websites will help you speed up your web design process immensely. So yeah, have fun using stacks in your website. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one.